Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here. October 11th. Almost mid-month now. Um, a few things to talk about. Busy, busy day yesterday. First, we'll talk about this uh, sterling chart and all of its uh, sterling crosses. Uh, we've been on board with this uh, long sterling, uh, mainly through sterling Swiss. I know most of you don't trade that, so let's just look at this cable chart. Um, obviously, um, positive talks between Johnson and um, Ireland, Prime Minister of Ireland, and looks like there's progress, and the market's caught massively short, and here we go. We go from 122.10 to 124.50. Uh, tricky now, very, very dicey. Um, what to do with it here if you are not long? I do not recommend getting long here. We are um, a ways away from a deal. All kinds of steps have to take place. Uh, British Parliament has to agree. Barnier has to get on board. Uh, Northern Ireland uh, has to promise not to be a prick. Uh, all kinds of stuff um, but if you are long um, this is enough this bar is strong enough uh, to sit long so it's kind of confusing but I would not recommend paying 124.50s but if you own 122.50s or 123s uh, you just sit long and see how this plays uh, keep your eyes on the news feed Barnier is meeting with Barclay today the Brexit head negotiator, uh, so we'll get some news from them. Elsewhere, let's look at the Intrepid Euro, which you would have thought would have been higher um, with this Brexit news, but it just couldn't get out of its own way. Uh, and we closed at 06, which was not the close we were looking for, which was not uh, the change in trend. Uh, flashy day that we were hoping for. This is the line. It was broken, but it really just did not follow through. It basically sucked the duck uh, is the best way to describe it. So technically, I mean, we're through this trend line, so we might just dribble higher. Uh, but what we normally like when we break these lines is a powerful move uh, and a move backed up with an event. And we were set up for it perfectly yesterday. All we needed was a really weak CPI or some dovish talk or whatever. But we didn't get it. So let's not, uh, let's not go chasing rainbows here. It's bullish, but it's just mildly bullish. So um, keep it in your pants. And uh, let's just see where we go going forward. There's a whole clutch of option expiries today 11005 we talked about this on Tuesday uh, tons of gamma around still which sucks uh, for those of us who want a bigger move um, we are tiny long here uh, but as we said we we did we did protect up at 30 um, and we'll play it from the long side but it's a very very cautious long Today we'll be buying uh, any moves between 95 and 85 just because of that gamma. Um, we have German inflation today, which is likely to come in line. Um, and then we have a whole just cartload of speakers from the ECB and the Fed um, who are just going to say pretty much nothing. Canadian employment, I guess, is the big... Uh, release today. So it looks like a drifty day in uh, Euro. You could argue many, you could argue that this should be higher on the Brexit news as well. Um, but the fact of the matter is it's not higher. So that also is telling us something that not, uh, no power, no power on this, uh, on this boat. So I would say casual long is the way to go. Um, those of you who still own, you know, we talked about this below 109, right? That huge flow 
at 108.80 and 85. Those of you who own euros there, you look much more clever. Um, we're well out of that position, and so we're kind of making a fresh euro along here. Uh, doesn't look great, so be careful with that. Uh, what else? Trade news, obviously positive. Uh, equities floating higher. Where are we? 54. Um, a lot of good news baked in here. Uh, I don't know what kind of deal he's going to get. If he gets a slim deal now, this is a sell. Uh, sell on the news. If it's some massive deal where all the tariffs are gone and free trade reigns for the rest of the world, this will go back up to 90. Uh, we will also sell it there. Um, we're just waiting on the news here. So we're square, waiting, we're skeptical. Um, but the news is the news. It is positive, plus positive Brexit news. A lot of happy news out there. So no sense running into some massive short position in ES at the moment. On the other side of the world, fixed income is getting smashed. Uh, this suits obviously um, Boone's destroyed yesterday 10 years destroyed yesterday tens have a longer way to come down now um, but uh, fixed income has turned the market is caught long this is a sell um, you can just sell rallies today if you're late on this uh, today we'll be selling I don't know let's just sell 85s and 05s and boons. Uh, the low in price for this contract, uh, the deck has been uh, 27. Looks like we're going to visit that today. Could go lower. Um, this looks like it could waterfall now. So um, this is a huge focus today, short fixed income. Finally, let's go to dollar CAD. Through that pivot yesterday at 90, there were some nickels uh, to be made th on that trade. Uh, but we're back up to the figure. Now we're here at 85. Bearish engulfing from the highs. Uh, we like short dollar CAD, but employment today is going to make it very volatile. So be careful on that. Uh, if you can get yourself a nice average, uh, great, but tidy the position up heading into 2.30 Swiss time because there's going to be good vol in CAD today. Aussie Yen, also bullish engulfed, obviously trade deal. Um, oh yeah, one last thing, dollar yen. It's far, but one, 108.50 is a huge point. We talked about this at non-farms where we traded up to 47. Um, and then they got whacked. Oh, no, that was ISM. Sorry, that was ISM on the 1st of October. Uh, 108.50. This is a huge, huge level. This is the equivalent of 110 in Euro. Um, there'll be some money to be made at this level. Still far. High's been 13. Um, don't expect like massively hawkish news from uh, the central bank Muppets. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get up there, but the point of it is, is if we do get up there, um, this is not a fade. Uh, this is actually um, probably a place to add to longs, or for me, I will get long through 50. I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there. Happy Friday. Make some dough, people. Uh, you deserve it. Um, I'll see you on Monday. Ciao.